let's start focusing on getting ourselves hunkered down in the form of a building. Um, I'm gonna need to grab some cobblestone, so let's just take all the pickaxes that I have. Here, here, here. That's good. We can just go through this cave here. Get some material. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to use the looting pickaxes for for general mining purposes. I'm actually unsure if the looting lock on a pickaxe actually plays the same as the fortune enchantment does. I'm just presuming that it does. Because, you know, why not? And I seem to be getting a lot of duplicates more than normal here when I'm mining. So I'm just going to assume that. I also wonder if I can get duplicates of like ores. Like, you know, iron ore. Maybe I can get a duplicate of that. I'm not sure. What I just did before is uh, not. Oh, we can test it out here. It's just two. Two, five in total. Yeah, I guess maybe not. You know what I find funny? I find that the 1.7.10 caves are actually pretty good. They're quite exp expansive. Okay, maybe not. Now, before I do any of the building here, I do have something I'd like to take care of. Let's grab a sign. It's great. Uh, cobblestone, good. And then gravel to get ourselves some barren dirt. This is important. And I need a chest. Okay, I believe we are ready. Let's find a location here that would suit. You know what? I think here works pretty well. It's a uh, nice, you know, you got a nice little hill just behind it. So it's not too in the way because we don't want everyone to come across this so much but um i think this is a good spot i'm just gonna get this little lip here out of the way and then we'll start putting together what we came here for i would like to uh hold to the promise that i made because this is important okay i think that's that's good space and then i think we can have a sort of like walk right here and then over here will be great let's do this and then we will have a chest here we can have this and then a sign here lies ham fast good buddy He was a very good companion, and it is a shame that I was reckless in my exploration and that he had to go. But whatever happens, happens, and it's quite a shame. May he rest here in Rivendell forevermore. And fast, good buddy, my faithful hobbit companion. And hopefully, this graveyard that we will start will not continue to grow. And that it will be a solemn place. Okay, we have some business to tend to regarding our build here. We're gonna need a lot of cobblestone and especially a lot of like smelted stone as well. We're, the castle design that I'm going for is very organic in nature so we're kind of just going with the flow you know so I hope that it'll look good. I always want stuff to look good and then uh this, these voyages actually will help us a ton for getting our building materials Especially the stone smelted. So now I'm gonna head back to the cave, do a ton of mining for cobblestone, maybe even do like a. Okay, I am down here with. Uh... Oh, that's a nasty. Oh, man, I hate that. Okay, I'm down here with the cave, and I'm just gonna like make a mine out a huge box. Maybe a strip mine would be more efficient in the terms of maybe I find some ores that I like. But, yeah, I'm in the cave, I'm gonna mine for some cobblestone. It will take a long time, so I will definitely cut, like, all of it out, because mining for cobblestone's boring. 
That's just a fact. Whoa! Just came across this. Ed Helver. Oh. I have come across this in houses, but I don't think I've ever found it like that. That is cool. Surely the castle won't take 27 stacks of stone to build, right? Like, surely, right? Okay, I've been mining for a long, long time now, and you see what I mean? These caves are huge. I mean, I've been mining for cobblestone, but not really. Uh, yeah, I have been uh, very distracted in my efforts here but these these are, these are good materials I, I need these they, i will always be needing stuff like this to get me rich which will help me get an army stuff like that so um okay i have resurfaced here uh all my pickaxes are gone except my really good pickaxe i don't really want to use that too much maybe for like really really precious metals which i guess would just be like mithril or something just to hope that maybe we can get a duplicate but yeah this uh all the stuff i've got plus these stacks upon stacks here the cobblestone it's not much i've been down there for maybe about four like over 40 minutes and we're looking at about a stack and a half per 10 minutes yeah maybe two stacks Anyways, that's not that's not much at all. So we are actually gonna shift focuses to actually get this cobblestone. I would like to begin building this so that we can have a nice house. Boom. Oh, handy, nimble, that's great. Yeah, that'll that'll give us time. Oh, handy? Handy lasting? Oh! I've been getting really good rolls here. I've been mining for so long, and this pickaxe is about to break. I haven't gotten to this one yet, but the pouch is already full, so I think I just mine up these and it should be pretty good in the sense that um we got a lot of cobblestone. So I'm gonna resurface, melt basically all of these. And then we will start building. I would like to get a basic ground plan going and then we will see how this castle is gonna turn out. It's quite exciting. I'm very much looking forward to building it because uh, i like castles you know i'm enthusiastic about medieval stuff in general so building a realistic ish castle in minecraft you know that's just the way you got to do it there okay so we have uh six times three 18 19 forges to divide a bunch of stone let's start laying out this castle here so here's how i like to do it i like to do like three towers two at the front for a gate one big tower for the lord which would be me i am the person living here uh but we could have you know space for like a barracks stuff like that so um i really don't know how big i want to make this okay i've done some thinking i think i have an outline i'm happy with for the front here we have a box one here because you know box keep it simple but then i like to add a little bit of randomness with a circle here uh and i like to keep it a five wide because then i'm gonna go up with a wall here and then the entrance with the gate also a walkway on top and if it's not five wide it just doesn't happen let's actually start laying down some stone so that we can you know retrieve some of our dirt back we are economical here i've done a little bit of work here and this is how i sort of want this wall to look like there'll be some openings here maybe for some storage and this wider opening here can be for like a tiny stable maybe for like one horse i guess i'm actually I'm really liking this. I think it's gonna turn out looking pretty cool. After some more building, this is what I have. So uh, let's just start at the beginning here with a gate. So I have built up the uh, tower in front just a little bit just to get that sort of shell going. And you'll see I'll have the portcullis here and then more gate here to allow uh, horses and stuff like that. Built this up a tiny bit outlined here and got this up a little. I'm gonna start focusing on this part more because this is where I'll be and then eventually 
I'll have this part finished first so I can move my stuff in, start decorating a bit, and then eventually over time we'll just start finishing, finishing getting that castle done. It'd be a great place to live, great place to have a headquarters, and we can start really going on huge excursions with a nice strong home base. Okay, I'm experimenting with some chestnut here and maybe... Ooh, I do like that. Okay, I've just finished getting the chestnut here. I really like this vibe. You know, it gives me a nice, just a nice medieval feel, do you know what I mean? I mean, if you don't, that's cool. Okay, I've got a nice little, like, staircase here that wraps around the side, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this level, which I have up here, and then we'll just top it off, and it'll look really nice. Okay, I've made it to the top floor here, and I've done a little bit of work I'd like to show you. So here's the second layer. Uh, I haven't put in the chandeliers here, but for the first floor I have, since we are in high elven territory, I went with the uh, high elven chandeliers, but I might change it. I don't like the blue. It's just way too fat. I mean, come on. I have finished the parapet here, and we have some nasty matriculations. Like you can Shoot I don't have my arrows with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And you can shoot on down, you know, you got you got nasty guys coming to get you, you're boom, they're dead. They're dead, that's the way you do it. And you are protected while you do so. You know, I kinda I vibe with that, you know. I think that's an alright representation of that. I the blocky top does get on me a little not too much of a fan of that but i think it does communicate the sense of oomphness you know all of the stuff has been moved into my main residence here and i've decorated so let's check it out so uh we have some plates here and i'd like to get some more silver goblets for this side but i don't feel like crafting it because i'm a rich man and we make good decisions. Here is the solar. So we have a double bed here, a couple of banners, nice little purple flower right there. Armor stand, some books, and in the books we have scrolls, books of true silver, and then maybe, you know, if our adventures warrant, we can have some like written books in there too. And then here's all the storage, uh, not sorted at all. I sort of just kept it there, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This place is truly gonna be amazing. We're gonna have tons of soldiers around here, maybe even some animals. Definitely a, definitely a horse stable there. But we do need to put a waypoint down, and I think that'd be a wise thing to do. And the name I believe would be fitting is Talgarth, which is uh, derived from Sindarin for all of you Lord of the Rings nerds out there. But uh. This is now Tower Garth, and I will move the waypoint. There we go. So our home is fully set up. Well, not fully. We need, still need to build the whole castle. But we are ready to begin operations from this building here. And the first thing that I hope to do is to get over here. I want to get to the Misty Mountains because the Misty Mountains have Mithril or very great or the best material in all Middle Earth. We have eight nuggets, but you know, we gotta get some more, of course. You see Goblin Town? There's a lot of orcs that are in the Misty Mountains, so we will have to be careful. Perhaps bring a little army to help us out, but that is what I want to look forward to. Getting Mithril and fighting off some orcs. And it will help our alignment to kill a bunch of good and bads. That is what we are looking forward to.